Have you ever wondered why the Korean War ended without a formal peace treaty? Let's take a step back and delve into the background. This war saw key players including North and South Korea, China, the United States, and the United Nations. The root cause? A significant ideological divide between North and South. The result was a war that didn't truly end, a war that remained unresolved. This unresolved war, known as a frozen conflict, led to the infamous Armistice of 1953. The road to the Armistice was far from smooth. Amidst the tumult of the Korean War, an intricate tapestry of events led to the Armistice. The war was marked by bloody stalemates, shifting front lines, and an immense loss of life on both sides. It was a time of tremendous turmoil and conflict, with each side vying for dominance and control. In the early stages, peace talks seemed like a distant dream. There were countless failed attempts at negotiation, with each side unwilling to compromise. It was a time of tension and despair, with the prospect of peace seemingly fading further into the distance. Yet, despite the challenges, the United Nations stepped in, playing an instrumental role in fostering dialogue and paving the way for potential resolution. Their involvement was a beacon of hope amidst the chaos, a sign that peace might still be attainable. One of the most significant moments in this journey was the Panmunjom negotiations. Here, in a small village on the demarcation line, pivotal discussions took place. These meetings were fraught with tension, but they were also marked by moments of progress. They were the turning point, the first real steps towards the establishment of the armistice. And thus, after years of conflict and countless lives lost, the armistice was finally signed, but it was far from a perfect solution. The armistice marked the cessation of hostilities, but it was not a peace treaty. The armistice was signed, but what did it truly mean for the Korean Peninsula? It marked the end of physical conflict, but not the ideological war between North and South Korea. The armistice drew the line of division along the 38th parallel, creating a buffer zone known as the demilitarized zone, a stark symbol of division and tension. This ceasefire agreement did more than just halt the fighting, it solidified the division of the Korean Peninsula. The ideological rift deepened, giving rise to a conflict that was frozen in time, yet simmered beneath the surface. Over the years, the tension between North and South Korea has ebbed and flowed, but never subsided entirely. The war's status remains unresolved, casting a long shadow over international relations. More than 70 years later, the Korean War remains technically unresolved, a poignant reminder of the lasting impact of frozen conflicts.